I think I'm mid flare. I think I'm mid flare. Um, shit is starting to burn. Um, Four twelve. Which one is this? Oh. The anarchist zone. Who the fuck are you? Somebody just commented on one of the YouTube videos, one of the archives. Fucking, um, what are your ethical stances? Yeah. And the user is called the anarchist zone. Jesus, what are your ethical stances? What are all of your views? Uh, if, I mean, no, but, you know. Uh, yeah, right? Uh... Yeah, what the fuck was that? By the way. <laughs> Who's streamer awards? What the fuck was that? Somebody want to explain? Um. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> uh. Ah. Oh, Bobby. Uh, caboose, doms, delayed onset muscle soreness. I think. I think that's what uh, Karina is saying. 
Oh, there you go. Most degenerate. Fair enough. Um, oh, I wanted to check that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bam, fire. Vampire Survivors has its own category now. Good for them. Uh, um, I'm thinking about just playing the game. Uh, after seeing that fucking fuck is this? After seeing that stupid fucking, I don't know, surf screenshot. I think it was a surf screenshot. Yeah, it had to be a surf screenshot from fucking Cupcake. That's, by the way, that's what the stream title is about. Fucking voting rights battle. Has versus Dylan Burns. Huge announcement. Leftist online drama peaking. Fucking, I, I mean, look, I know it works, but that's kind of half the problem, right? Like, how, how do you have integrity and do one of those stream titles? It's, it's, it's a fucking joke. I, I'm sorry, serfs. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, it, it, it's, I just can't. I can't. It's the serfs. Yeah, I know, right? Hot take, the serfs are reactionary CIA agents and has works for Hezbollah. Spread it around. Spread it around. Actually, you know what? Switch that. Switch that. Switch that. Kai, Kai said this. Uh, the serfs work for Hezbollah and uh, has works for the CIA. There you go. Spread it around. Fucking caused the drama, apparently. Yeah. Fucking has his CIA, the serfs or Hezbollah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you mean uh, has he two holes? Yeah, has he two holes. Oh, fucking. All right, let's fucking options. Sounds off as well. Dude, has is a CIA asset. Ma uh, asset makes perfect sense. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Um. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Well, I'll get around to it. All right. We'll do that first. Um. Argentina hit 129 degrees, uh, and they had blackouts in the middle of it. So, you know, air conditioning was doing real well for them. The ones that are lucky enough to have it. Um, what else? Uh, Candace Owens suggested Bob Saget died from the COVID vaccine. Insert veiled comment about her here. I, I, I can't. I can't. <clears throat> oh. Apparently, a company called Center for COVID Control has been administering fake COVID tests all with negative results. Of course, the investigation began in Florida. Lovely. Mike Wendell of my pillow fucking cokehead fame um, says he's got enough evidence to put 300 million Americans in jail for election fraud. Booze, <laughs> <Bruce>, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see. Justice Department is establishing a specialized unit focused on domestic terrorism. Lovely. I'm sure there won't be any bleed over. Why is Mike Shinoda commenting on... Wait, is that a different Mike Shinoda? Is there a... Is there... Like, Caboose, I see popular CG artist. Is there a CG artist named Mike Shinoda? <laughs> like... Not the Lincoln Park Mike Shinoda. Because that's... As soon as I looked at that, I was like, wait. Popular CG artist. I'm like, why is Mike Shinoda commenting on NFTs? <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Hang on. All right, cool. All right, cool. Thanks for fucking pulling that out of my head, Caboose. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? All right, that makes sense. Uh, yes, we have. Uh, cupcake. Yes, of course we have. Your 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 suspicions are as usual correct. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <coughs> Likes to fight with Alex. Um, oh, what just generally likes to be an antagonist. Uh, antagonistic. That's all. Fucking does the like four hundred IQ comments and shit like that. Um, voter fraud sure happens, and it's usually conservatives that commit it. It is true. Uh, we had convi we had uh, convicted uh, voter fraud in this um, in this state, um, and it was Trump voters. That is true. Oh. Hey, look, an Alabama police officer murdered his seventh month, uh, seven month pregnant girlfriend. Uh, forty percent. And of course, they immediately tried to get all of the public records stricken from the defense. Uh, uh, the defense side tried to get all public records stricken, saying that this is a sensitive matter and it shouldn't be exposed to the public. The uh, judge told the uh, <clears throat> told the defense that uh, uh, they should remain public. So, yay. <coughs> Dude, my schedule flipped on me. Um, fucking, I, I slept after last night's stream, which is not great. Uh, I managed to do, what did I get done last night? Um, 
I got two sets of cores, like two and a half sets of cores done yesterday, plus um, two arms, plus some mild legs. And I slept after the stream, and that just completely fucked my uh, my sleep schedule. Oh. oh god, heritage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, even the, like, you know, conservative fucking groups admit that there's, like, limited voter manipulation. Doesn't stop them from screaming about it, though. Uh, the uh, Somebody assembled the numbers from the same uh, crew that I use for it, the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. Um, the numbers are in for 2021. So, <clears throat> I look forward to updating my essay with these statistics. Fucking dummies. Yep. And... Also, keep in ma keep in mind that clause. the uh, the law office, uh, the law enforcement officers benevolent fund isn't counting it as COVID unless the COVID infection came from direct uh, direct exposure due to uh, the commission of their official duties and paperwork to prove it was submitted. So. <clears throat> That number of 301 is likely a touch higher, shall we say. Yeah, it's it's a significant undercount. Yes, they are intentionally deflating the number, and yes, it is still significantly higher than everything else. Um, COVID is, um, massacring cops. Co COVID is doing to cops what the BLM movement couldn't do. Yeah. Straight up. COVID is, um, COVID is what COVID is at this point. Um, the FTC ruled that, uh, a judge ruled that the FTC can move forward with, uh, making Facebook, I refuse to say their st stupid new name, um, makes it, uh, Facebook sell Instagram and WhatsApp. So we may actually see a split. Don't know. We shall see though. The Boston Tea Party was anti-intellectual. All they did was destroy private property. Yeah. Um, the, the affiliated group, the Boston Sons of Liberty, also notorious anti-intellectuals who engaged in uh, private property damage. Yeah. Just, I can make, I can make comments too. <laughs> anyway. Um... Matt Gates, his ex girlfriend, is going to testify against him.
Let's see. No, that was against state taxes. That was the British taxation. BLM went after private people. Maybe if they read, you do realize that the uh, uh, the East India Company was a publicly traded company that was only a partially state held enterprise. Um, that was the private property of the shareholders of that corporation. That was destruction of private property. Yeah. It, it's the same as going into a, uh, essentially an Amazon warehouse and torching it. <clears throat> There's government subsidies and funding there, too. Yeah, Marcus, it's, it's you know, we, I mean, you're a lawyer. I grew up in legal circles. We're going to have some overlap. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Chicago PD blocked streets to allow a Patriot Front in escape route. Um, from that video we watched from those doofy mother khaki motherfuckers walking around doing their, uh, their chants with the flags. Chicago PD had their back. They actually secured an escape route for them and blocked off a series of streets. Uh, I'm reminded of a song, I think. Some of those that work forces. Workforces. Uh. It was a publicly traded company. <laughs> it was upset, uh, it was eventually nationalized, um, but that was redeemed. Um, it was, um, it was do dissolved by the Redemption Act. I want to say of 1873, something like that. It's a little hazy. Um, either way, it was, uh, all of the stock was bought back, um, by the Redemption Act of 1873. And, uh, from that point out, it was, um, it was then a nationalized company, but the Boston Tea Party occurred in 1773 long before the nationalization and stock buyback or the D Redemption Act occurred for uh, that dissolved the East India Company. Um, it was a publicly traded company at that time. Again, the Boston Tea Party was the legal equivalent of going into an Amazon warehouse and torching it. Cope. Sorry. Our founding fathers were domestic terrorists. That's the reality of the situation. They committed high treason against the crown. They were felons. They uh, they committed they committed acts of domestic terrorism, sedition. Um, if they had lost, they would have been drawn and quartered, uh, hung, probably hung, drawn and quartered, and then their heads hung from uh, uh, hung from a pike, uh, put on a pike, um, something along those lines. They it would have been they would have put them on display. Yeah. East uh, East India Stock Dividend Redemption Act of 1874. Did I say 73? So it's off by a year. That's for me getting a date within a year. That's I'll, I'll fucking take it. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Marcus, for like live ch live fucking checking it. Um, yeah. So the Boston Tea Party is the most celebrated domestic terrorist incident in the U.S. history. In the U.S. history, yeah. 100%. Our founding fathers were domestic terrorists. Like, I... I how how was that? Uh, yeah, whether the Redemption Act basically fucking nationalized uh, and then dissolved the company. Yeah, something like that, Cricks. Something like that. Again, we're anarchists. Material conditions are uh, are Marxists. Pookie, you are so... <sighs> you are so out of your depth. Holy shit. Cupcake, I just saw.
Holy shit, man, Cupcake. That's a... <clears throat> that's a statement. Uh, again, material conditions is Marxist, not anarchist. You're not using my words. You're using Marxian ter uh, terminology. You're using a Marxian lens of analysis. I'm not a Marxist. So, yeah, cupcake. Apparently so. Is what it is. <clears throat> um... Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Jesus Christ, I'm still, like, half asleep. Um, oh, let's see. But a boom. Oh, Andrew. Um, oh, shit. Uh, fucking um, Prince Andrew's going to face uh, at least a civil sex assault charge uh, in the U.S. No. No, you don't. Uh, somebody just spent 30,000 points to time out uh, Sohi Rifter, I guess. Um, <clears throat> silencing Nazis is based. Yeah, that that's a, that's a hell of a profile description. Yeah, that's that's a hell of a thing, Cupcake. Thanks for fucking grabbing that real right quick. Oh, Cassie, I just saw that meme. <laughs> oh, um, inflation's at the highest level since 1982, just FYI, if anybody wasn't feeling it already. Oh, let's see. We did the Argentina thing. Hey, you know, fucking, like I said, I don't... I'm feeling like just, I might end up just playing a little Vampire uh, Survivors. Um... Oh god, 62,000 Los Angeles students and staff test positive for COVID ahead of school return on yesterday. Jesus. Well, congratulations, Cassie. That's, um, yeah. Did you just define material conditions? Wait. Oh, no, you're trying to define anarchism as a system where authority is not centralized? Jesus Christ. Oh. Somebody needs to educate you more, but, you know, at least you have a component of it. In the network of ideas, he's got a node. He's got at least a node inside the network. I've, I've, yeah, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I've seen a shit ton better, but... Um... Show suggestions. What'd you put in there? Tech startup wants to gamify suing people using crypto tokens. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. And the guy who's fucking doing it, it looks exactly like what you would expect him to look like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A new tech startup um, plans to become the stock market of litigation financing. By allowing everyday Americans to bet on civil lawsuits through the purchase and trade of associated crypto tokens. In doing so, the company hopes to provide funding to individuals who would otherwise not be able to pursue claims. Rivals, R-Y-V-A-L. Rival's goal is to make access to justice more affordable, said Kyle Roche, a trial lawyer and one of the startup's founders. What I want to do is make the federal court system more accessible. Roche believes the U.S. federal court system is one of the best in the world, but navigating it is cost prohibitive. 
As a result, he believes potential whistleblowers are too hesitant to defy well-resourced corporations. Yes, that's exactly the reason. No, it's not because the state itself will wield its uh, monopoly of force against you on behalf of their corporate overlords. He, Roche wants to make lawsuits happen that might not have happened. Then fix tort reform, you idiot. Fucking, why are you gamifying, why are you using crypto tokens to fix, to do what tort reform should be doing? Buy and sell tokens that represent shares in litigation and access a multi-billion dollar investment class previously unavailable to the public. Rival promises 50% plus annual returns. Cassidy, Cassidy, are you listening? Rival promises 50% plus annual returns. What we do? Tell the story, vet the legal uh, legal claim, and then allow the public to invest and give the funds to go and litigate your case. What does the public get in return? The public gets an gets interest in the outcome of your suit. Oh my! <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> bro, as if every tech bro fucked each other and had a kid. Yeah. The financial analyst says it's a lie and scam and not fucking possible. I know, right? I know. Cassie, I, kn I knew your your ears would perk, Cassie, as soon as I said the 50% plus return on investment. It's like, mm, that's the scam number. That's that scam number. All right. All right. We're doing this. Yeah. You almost choked on your drink. Yeah. That's fucking sure, sure, sure. Lawyers are not great at math. Uh, it's if it's one group of people I trust to implement this ethically, it's lawyers. <laughs> oh. Fucking A. Oh. Matto's throwing around some accusations. So, uh, Matto um, documents on her show. Um, if you want the link, I'll post the link to the Truth Out article on it. Uh, Matto's making claims, which, I mean, again, it's Matto. Uh, Republics in, fi in five states forged electoral college documents. There's more on it if you want it. I'll put it in shared content. Um... There we go. Hey, Hectic. Always love the dancing frog. I really do. There you go. Uh.
Oh, let's see. How are you defining value? Are you using an economist definition of value? Because it doesn't seem like you are. Also, what um, what theory of value are you using to evaluate valuation in this cost? In this case, I mean, labor, intrinsic, exchange, monetary. Like, there's a there's I mean, power theory. Like, how are you deriving your valuation of these items, and from what school of uh, theories are you deriving that? This, this term values being bandied around casually in a prescriptive economic discussion, it seems like, which is, well, <laughs> lacking nuance and understanding, it would seem. Um, hey, Resolution, I hope you're well. I'm, my neuropathy's flaring again. Um, so it is what it is for me. But uh, I got two arm, two arm workouts done yesterday. Uh, like I said, I got two, like two and a half cores worth uh, so that's like um, 50 minutes worth of like just strict core workouts, uh, core workout. Um, so tonight I'm going to fucking take an easy day and probably bike like a bunch of miles. <laughs> fucking A. Uh, you do realize labor theory of value is created by Adam Smith, the father of capitalism. Oh, you don't, do you? Labor theory of value isn't a Marxian creation. It's a Smithian creation. It was born of the, uh, the man referred to as the father of capitalism. That's who created the labor theory of value. Marx had his own rendition. But you didn't know that, did you? Huh. Um... Does beating off count as working out? I mean, it counts as a little minor cardio. A little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, bike on a bicycle or are you rocking triple action? <laughs> bike as in bicycle nonsense. And hey, they're nonsense. Um, nonsense. You've been getting all those AJ emails? He's on that fucking email campaign's warmed up again. I got sweaty beating off these hoes. Have you, uh, have you gone through... Uh, <laughs> Oh god, I was about to do, dump into a Stanhope routine. Yeah, so I got the new one. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I haven't been looking at them too too closely. The latest one, the oh no, not again. Customer, our customer support reached uh, team reached out to me yesterday. Thousands of people opened our Reset Wars page after hearing it was now available for only sixty five dollars with our new payment pl payment plan. And I think our servers couldn't handle such a, a large amount of people visiting it. Sorry about that. We're all set now. You can still get. You didn't have fucking server issues. All right, one. I can. I can. Um, yeah, no, they were not down. <laughs> they were not down. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Machno was a pretty big fan of guns, Caboose. <laughs> but are you you set me up for a Marx quote? Uh, did I see Ann Coulter called Trump a liar and a con man? No, I didn't. Um, but, I mean, she's been off of the Trump train for a while, if I recall correctly. Hasn't, like, did he, um, oh, um, uh, didn't he spur, like, sp like, didn't, didn't he say something or she said something and then they started, um... Like, all over it. Like, I seem to recall that, like, yeah, they started fighting, like, several years ago or something like that. 
Hey, he fucking he finally he finally got done reading the Wikipedia page on um, economic theory of value uh, theories of value, and he, he picked one. What what goes with subjective theory of value? Because there's there's something that goes with it. Anyway, um, and who was it created by? Just out of curiosity, do you know what economists actually created the subjective theory of value? Yeah, of course you don't know because you didn't read that far, did you? <laughs> you literally just didn't read that far. Oh, Lord. Anne's juicy tweet. All right, let me see it. It's been a minute nonsense. You want to jump on air and have a chat? You're always free to like wander in and out as you as you please. Ex uh, there we go. Uh, fuck it, eh? Throw it up there. Uh, Trump is demanding to know uh, Ron DeSantis's booster status, and I can now reveal it. He was a loyal booster when Trump ran in 2016, but then he learned our president was a liar and a con man whose gift was grift was permanent. I hope that clears that up. Hmm. Whatever, take your time, nonsense. No worries. Ah, uh, yes. Um, all right, let's see. Is there anything else that I wanted to give a shit about? Nice. That's a hell of a turn. Apparently, the uh, Mexican cartels are starting to bomb each other. Oh, that's right. I remember Diamond Shipholder lucked out and, like, managed to, like, uh, participate in the pyramid scheme at an earlier date. And as such, is young, dumb, and has pockets full of money. He has no formal education. He has, like, yeah. Like this is you're look you're talking to like a uh, like a nineteen to twenty two year old something like that, who has no life experience, no educational experience, and has more money than he probably should have. So he thinks he knows something about the world. Um, but anyway, the cartels are bombing each other now from the sky. Uh, apparently, they're like literally like. Yeah, that sounds nice. I got a thing you can fund. Um, apparently, the cartels have now bombed at least two towns uh, in the city, uh, at least two towns near the city of uh, Tepelka. Oh, God. It's, it's one of the indigenous names. I can't do it. <clears throat> so, yeah, they started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They're drone strikes. They're, 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 they are, they are drone strikes. Um, see if I get a video. Yeah. All right. Um, I think, I think CNW will cover it. Uh, Conflux News Worldwide. They're, uh, they're part of an OS, uh, open source intelligence network. Um, we get a, yeah, that'll do it. I think. Hey, let me just watch this. Yeah, I think we're fine.
So definitely, I mean, it seems like it's one of the, it's at least one of the Haru drones that um, has a stabilization on it. I, I don't think it's too low end. I think we're looking at like a DJI sort of situation because it's got a hell of a stabilization platform on it. It's got a PTZ on it. Also, it's got some degree of electronics wired into it that they're controlling a drop mechanism as well. Um, and it's a like stage drop mechanism. It looks like they can drop multiple munitions. So it's at least a, a decently advanced piece of kit, whatever it is. I mean, Caboose, we're, we're, we're talking about a multi-billion dollar organization. It's probably just a DJI. They can afford the best. Or it's some cheap hobby drone. Either way, we are talking about, you know, not small organizations. Um... Yeah, and that's, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're talking about uh, the uh, CNG, uh, the uh, Jalisco New Generation. So. Yeah. So, definitely violent, definitely well off. Um, and the CNG is constantly in a battle for um, new territory. So this is right up their alley. Trying to do territory acquisition. Yeah. Yeah, Cassidy. Agreed. What do we see? Somebody shared that about how um, NFTs are responsible for huge art theft now. Yeah, artists, there we go. Artist sales are, uh, NFT art sales are booming just without artist permission. Oh. Aha Trier. Digital art uh, artist, painter in San Antonio, riffs on Van Gogh's Starry Night, sometimes uh, reimagining a desert landscape or Mordor from Lord of the Rings. Either way, sells versions on mugs and mouse and uh, pillows. Thanks to the explosion of NFT market, thieves are starting to steal her work as a jaw at a jaw-dropping rate. Last week, an unidentified user on OpenSea, the dominant marketplace for NFTs, uh, started putting thousands of thousands, uh, tens of thousands of listings of her work. Often duplicates up for sale. 37 of them sold before she was able to convince the platform to take them down. They just keep taking my art and remaking them as NFTs. It's flagrant. And if it happens to me, I mean, it certainly will happen to anybody. Trier's story has already become common in the, uh, in the world of NFT art sales. R.G. Palmer, San Francisco artist who designs creatures and monsters, both as commissioned digital works and for movies and video game companies, said issuing takedown requests to NFT platforms for his work became a daily routine before he eventually gave up. It just got to be too many. It became uh, part of my day. He, he would uh, complete, uh, constantly send emails trying to get NFTs taken down, but this is putting so much work on me, I just don't want to deal with it. So the NFT art, uh, art market takes off. Systems to ensure a buyer is making legitimate purchase of digital ownership have, well, failed to even materialize, let alone keep up. Anonymous thieves now regularly steal whatever digital art they can find online and pass it off as their own to sell. All NFT proponents tout the technology as a way to revolutionize art patronage. <clears throat> the rapidly growing digital marketplace that enables those sales have so far done very little to stop that piracy. Thanks for the follow. Captain Falcon, Falcon Man, bro. <clears throat> yes, good old, good old NFTs, the latest scam. Oh, uh, hey there, fellow caller. Do you have an NFT to sell? <laughs> I've been looking into it, and I, 
I uh, there's this guy Solar Sands. He's got a great YouTube channel, and he did this thing covering it. And there's some really gross shit that's like NFTs. But he was also talking about how there's this artist, and she died, and then somebody put all her stuff as NFTs. Yeah, it sounds about right. But if you put if you put your stuff on OpenSea, I do. I wasn't. I was totally unaware of this because I'm like, I'm gonna try this out just to see what the fuck it is, just to like experience it. But nobody buy my fucking like. If if anybody follows my show or knows who I, please don't buy any NFTs. If you see me listing any NFTs, but um, there's like a minting cost that's like three hundred bucks, and like Ethereum whenever you mm-hmm. put them on there. Yeah. But I guess you can. I guess you can do it through uh, Polygon for free. But I I just start fucking around with it a little bit. Uh, Wither, Wither, we covered that last one, and I'll keep the other ones. Thank you, Wither. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of curious about what it's like from the other side, you know. Uh, oh, hang on. What am I? What did I miss, Marcus? Anything that allows me to cosplay as Jim Sterling's Baron. Fair enough. Ah, uh, imperiously, I'm bored with this chud. Claps hands, bring me another. All right. Done and done. There you go, Marcus. Um, What, Reverend Me Toad? I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A- AJ, I've, I'm, I've considered signing up for Reset Wars after the uh, $65 offer. I was like, oh. The only thing I want to know, okay, with Reset Wars, the only thing I want to know, he said that there are like, I can't remember exactly what he said. There are like three things that you should do every day or something like that. Yeah, there's just like affirmations and secrety sort of shit, right? What? Yeah, but he's like, it's like these steps that you're supposed to follow like daily or whatever. And um, I'm just curious what those are. That's the only thing I care about. <laughs> I want to, I want to kind of. Yeah, I want, um, I, I just, want, I want to want, it's six hours. It's six hours, right? That's like basically what we could do an hour a stream. That's like six, six streams worth of content potentially. Yeah. Like that's like, uh, you know, I could, I could see doing it. I could see doing it. I, last night I was on for like four hours and I only did like, the only video I showed really was like the ten minute exchange between Rand Paul and um, and Fauci. Mm, yes. <laughs> so you could do like a you could do like an hour a week, man. <laughs> it was you know yeah like I, I was just like oh man I, I kind of feeling it though I kinda at sixty five I could I, I what I thought I'd do I would never do this this is clearly a techno technological hypothetical that I'm setting uh, setting up what one could do if one was uh, so inclined depending on how well secured his his da- his media sources which I, I I have my doubts it's very well secured I'm pretty sure this is a right click <laughs> download situation. Uh, but even if it weren't, you could just let it play with OBS rec- doing a screen record yes. and you'd have it no matter what. Um, like at most it's six hours of like time outset um, at most. I'm thinking it's more like 37 seconds, frankly. Um, and you could, if one were so inclined, then opt for the uh, <coughs> cancellation money back guarantee. <laughs> like like it like if you feel okay doing that you should do it but from the tone of his emails i feel that i've teased him too much <laughs> dude he dude, some of these emails get a little fucking <laughs> they get a little intense sometimes that you're like dude like, could you not <laughs> Like, what are we doing here, Alex? Uh, I'm like one tenth of my email now seems to be Alex Jones. <laughs> It's just yeah. he always emails me when I'm at work and I just see that he sent me an email and like some weird subject line and I just laugh and put my phone away and then I forget about it until later and I'm like, oh shit, I need to see what that was. They're, they're forcing them to obey. You're just like, <laughs> what? What, Alex? <laughs> oh fucking A. Oh. He's always pimping uh, his relationship with Joe Rogan, too. Why haven't you called me back? The government's trying to keep <laughs> us apart. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Uh, it's oh fucking a. So like another great email that I get that I just love are parlors. <laughs> yeah, I don't, because I don't get those because they're so <laughs> shitty and stupid. And like they'll have like they just did another sponsored one. Like the sponsored ones are hilarious. Like they just sent me a sponsored one for. Um, Melania is uh, they did one for Melania's NFT, but then they did a new one for her white hat. Oh, Jesus Christ. That she was wearing yeah. when the French, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And um, then they had they sent me one a couple of days ago and I didn't know. But I guess the Let's Go Brandon car is, has been nixed by the higher ups in NASCAR. That makes sense. Yeah. Like, dude, NASCAR was like on it with the BLM stuff. They were on it. Yeah. Like they like the most progressive response out of any sports group, like sports organization was NASCAR. Yeah. Like, which is big. It's a big deal. NASCAR yeah. dads are fucking so stupid. So it's good. Yeah. Did that happen? <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm not surprised that they nixed that shit. They, they seem pretty protective of their brand. <clears throat> Selling Melania's hat's going to get creepy. I mean, you know, some guy came when I was talking because I, I made my title last night. Um, I went into politics and I made my um, title. Uh, Let's get COVID, Brandon. And um, this guy came in and just like in the chat just gave a tutorial on how to buy a Let's Go Brandon coin. <laughs> um, did you did you notice the stream title? I, I like my stream title tonight. Yeah. Clickbait yeah, I was, title goes here. The streamer you love versus the streamer you hate. Oh, I forgot to catch. I, I was lurking for a minute because I'm like, ooh, something juicy's going on. No. I was like, oh. I it's, thought you were already actively in the I'm, middle I'm, of the I'm making fun of the fucking surfs for their f just absolute dog shit clickbait titles. Fucking voting rights battle has versus Dylan Burns. Huge announcement. Leftist <laughs> online drama peaking. Fuck it. It's like Jesus fucking Christ. How do you how do you take yourself seriously when you when you write a headline like that into the stream title? Like this it's what they do. They get they get people in there. I don't I don't get it. Fucking I, I it's just oh, dummy baiting. I wanna make it I wanna make it a thing on Twitch that whenever they do these debates, they just talk about one thing. Just one thing thing and see if they can figure out that one thing you know because if they it's arrogant to think that they're going to cover like all of these things and it's like th there's no point right but yeah. can you imagine that they just sat down and they just figured one fucking thing out how beautiful that would be when's the last time anybody figured out one fucking thing Imagine trying to hold fucking Hazzy Two Holes feet to the fire on one topic. <laughs> right? I've only seen a total of three minutes of that dude. Have you seen the We Live in a uh, 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 We Live in Socialism? No, I haven't seen that. Actually, my biggest exposure oh my to him is is the whole thing. And then you were showing me the yeah, tweets where he's talking about Lacan. We're we're do <laughs> we're do we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. There's no way nonsense hasn't seen the clip. We're fucking doing it. Um, here, you're gonna love this. Fucking this genius. We are living in socialism, whether we want to acknowledge it or not. And we're living in fucking socialism because the primary driving force of our economy is social in nature, and it's <laughs> is is what is social in nature? Is yeah. that what he said? Yeah, we're living. We're <laughs> living in socialism whether we want to admit it or not because our economy is social in nature why the fuck did he say economy like that we dude i've been playing that fucking clip like you, you fucking, is he doing a thing is he doing a thing like fucking cuckoo i dude i think it's all i think it's all coming to a head i think i think his cia agent handlers are like putting the screws to him a little bit i think his meds aren't working anymore or he's completely off of them or he needs to be on them or whatever the cocktail ain't working um and fuck it dude it's if you if you actually look at the clip he's got like full depression mode in that clip like the whole background like he's unshaved unkempt you can tell he's probably unbathed the background is filled with like trash and shit you're like that's that's one of those moments yeah he does he needs a doctor 
I wonder if he'll take a break soon. Uh, no, he's just getting warmed up. He's gonna go. He's gonna <laughs> go do a do a battle of wits with Dylan Burns. <clears throat> you know what? Dylan was one of the first guys I was I saw in here when I was looking around, and I was like, oh, okay, this kid's okay. And then he did this really weird thing with that was like involved with the the serfs, and there was like this panel discussion. And I'm like, he's like. It was like um, the serfs were bringing up these like kind of like legitimate things, and and this this uh, Lauren whatever her name is is like Southern. I got to go, and Dylan's like I got to go. This is a shit show, right? But then I was I was checking out um, that one streamer, and he was a judge for like a bunch of things that Dylan was on, and uh, and uh, like a, one of those big multi-panel debates, and uh, the the first question was who's more at fault, um, Alec Baldwin. Or one of these cop ladies who shot a dude instead of tased him. And Dylan's was like, it would be irresponsible for us to talk about this because we don't know uh, enough about the Alec Baldwin thing to comment. And it was like, boom. But then like nobody else respected that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, that's a stupid comment. It's the cop. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, he's like, we don't even know anything. Right. So why are we even talking about this? It's the cop. I was like, go Dylan. Yeah, fuck that. <clears throat> Never mind. I won't. I won't. See, I don't want to attract. That's how fucking. That's how you get hazy two holes sort of shit. Is you fucking attract that drama. I was about to fucking drop some shit and be like, "Here's my comment." And next thing you know, I'd be fucking getting DMs behind the scenes. Do you fucking <laughs> <laughs> fucking? It's like Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, exactly, Cassie. It's always the cop. Um, <clears throat> fucking, it's just, I I honestly, like, the, the terminally online high schoolers mm -hmm. need to take a break. Mm -hmm. They need to take a fucking break. That, that's, I, I'm, I'm going to just name names. Fucking Prime K's, Dylan Burns, that fucking, whoever the one that was making the argument that if you wear, a, like, if you wear, like, shoes, sandals, and your partner's got a foot fetish, it, you're you're a pedophile. That person. <laughs> fucking. I keep hearing about that, but I don't know the context. Like, it just keeps coming up. It was, like, such a legendary fucking thing. I don't even know who was involved. Jesus but what's funny is around, Christ. like, right after that, this guy becomes obsessed with uh, AOC sees boyfriend's feet and he like he circles it and he's like how 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 dare she be with such a disgusting man who would show his feet in public jesus christ no zippy no uh rgr unfortunately she's one of mine i can only apologize oh um fucking attorney um yeah, um, I, I there's just a list of just people that continually court drama. Uh, in, it, what I th I think intentionally. I don't. I don't think half these takes are as stupid as we would like them to be. I think half these are, takes are are them playing the narcissistic game. I yeah, stirring I, the pot. Yeah. yeah, and fucking they're doing what Destiny does. Fucking, I still laugh every time he does it. Like you can set your watch by a fucking Destiny N word manifesto. Right, like fucking. He does the uh, N-word manifesto. Oh yeah, I don't follow him. Multi I hear him reference all the pages, time. Pages, pages, bro. Like twelve pages, shit like that. Like I should be able to say the N-word because, right? And the last time he did it, he fucking dropped it on Twitter and then just went on vacation, no contact. Right, like he just fucking dropped it and walked away. Like here, you 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 people deal with this. I'll be back. Uh, it's like yeah. No, this is this is fucking these people intentionally just stir the pot in court in court drama continuously. And as Mark has pointed out, fucking um the uh the tankies can uh, smell drama from a hundred paces, so uh uh Kai didn't answer respond to my question. Oh, it's not like there's a bot that fucking goes by re regularly and says <laughs> Kai might not see or respond to your message in chat. To not take it per blah blah blah. What was your what was your fucking question, turd? Or are you just memeing on the bot? Um, if having a foot fetish makes you a pedo, I wonder what that person would say about Kai. Oh uh, well, I most of my stuff take place in like in houses and in bedrooms. They wouldn't have an issue with me. <clears throat> so, wait, are you feet people? No, God no. Okay. Because I was wondering the other day, I realized that I don't know any gay feet people. Honestly, like it's you. The only time I've come across it, 
is I've okay um two instant well two two separate uh, categories we'll go with right um one category okay. actually like foot person and then other category dominant uh, domination sort of situation like um i've had a couple of doms that were very much the like lick my feet suck my toe type but they yeah. weren't into the foot thing they were into the degradation thing yeah <clears throat> My previous partner, though, he loved my feet, and from really from what I understand, it's it's my feet, it's it's not feet. So, like, yeah, that was that was a thing. He he very much was like you know, uh, like in response to like a, a <clears throat> send me a foot pick. And you'll get a dick pick back sort of situation, right? Like that's that's the the equivalent in his. In See, his I've rank. never heard that. I didn't know such an animal existed. Yeah, he was very much into into my feet, um, and like, hey, whatever. Um, yeah, he would he would very much enjoy just sitting there, like massaging my feet, sucking my toes, fucking just generally being around my feet. Do you have the do your do your toes curl properly where you have like it does the it do, it like curls off right like the like the the we had I, there was this foot fetish yeah, guy was. who was taking over Podbean and he was totally he was like explaining us to to like he was explaining to me and Wampus like <laughs> what he really likes about me oh. and he went into this like beautiful poetic thing and we we're like whoa and he kept like you know how it, like curls where it's like everything's like the perfect size and it just like curls like goes from like big to small and it's like and we're like whoa okay I Kaiser I don't think my feet are attractive but i don't think feet are attractive right i don't have like the typically hideous male feet they're not they're not gnarled they're not fucking covered in hair they're not like you know my feet are at least in the the as far as the aesthetics of feet range go i suppose like acceptable to look at i i personally again i don't you know i don't do feet so it's not really a thing for me. <laughs> I just never, I never understood it, but I see them as harmless. So I'm like, yeah, do whatever you want with feet. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Um, why am I equally disgusted by foot guys messages on grinder and race play on grinder? It's gotta be a thing for my psychologist. Uh, Puka minor hooves. Zippy. I have adorable feet. Yes. Zippy has posted photos of her feet before as well. Um, fucking Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know, Marcus. Oh, Marcus, Marcus, you'll be a fan of this then. Um, I have, I have a video that was uploaded to, um, Reddit where a gay couple, um, uh, one white, one Latino, um, engaged in some race play <laughs> and they, they, they dressed up for it too. Um, the, the Latino gentleman put on the, um, sort of like beat up dirty wife beater and some cutoffs and the white guy had the MAGA hat and the fucking Trump t-shirt and ha shit. at one point had him in a headlock and was fucking talking shit. Like literally they straight up doing it. Fucking caught you crossing the border, huh boy? Fucking good. Teach you a lesson before I send you back. <laughs> I think a lot of this is about kink too. So I mean, it makes sense. It's about taboo, right? It's 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 about taboo. Se human sexuality is always about taboo. I mean, the whole like MAGA thing. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't believe in nice things. Uh, you know that? No, 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 no. I want to refund a lot of your subscriptions. Dear God. <laughs> yeah, Marcus. Marcus, just hit me up. I'll send you. I'll I'll send you uh, the the video. I'm sure you'll get a kick out of it. Um, let's see. Oh, fucking yeah! I, I you know I, again. It's whatever. Foot. Who gives a shit, right? Like if if you're into it, you're into it. I don't give a shit. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna like start worshiping my foot, just let me know before you do it. <laughs> you know, it's all like I just I just never understood it. And I've run into guys right. who are like sweaty as fuck about it. They'll like follow <laughs> girls around and they'll be like, you know, you really wear nice shoes and everything. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't make much sense to me either, but uh, fucking it is what it is. Uh 
tech support. Not gonna lie, that one woman asked me to call her the N word was kind of uncomfortable. All right, here is you want you want the truth. You want the truth that most most fucking people aren't ready for. Do you know any like I've had a bunch of black boyfriends. I've slept with a bunch of like people of color over the years. I gotta tell you, almost all of them at one point or another, yeah, straight up. Like middle of fucking, like really slamming it home and going at it. Fucking call me that. Right. I've I've been instructed numerous times to you to use the N word. So you know, that's whether you whether you're whether you're ready for it or not as a leftist, whether you're ready for it as a person of color or not, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. That was the context. And it wasn't a request. It was a demand. Yeah. I, I've been there tech support. I've been there a bunch of times. Um, it's, it's relatively common. Um, <laughs> pillow talk gets spicy. Yeah. Where's my 12 page defense of it? <clears throat> my 12 page defense of it is the 12 inches of cock that, uh, at last I was taking that, you know, yeah. See, see the giant black dick that was ramming at home. Um, that's pretty much my defense of it. When somebody's got like a massive schlong in your ass, just slamming it and is saying, call me this, you call them that. It's that simple. Uh, so usually things along the lines of, you know, you like that N word dick, don't you? To say that you like that, beg beg me for that n word dick, beg me for it, you b- white bitch, beg me for it, something along those lines. Yeah. <clears throat> I just saw a New York Times article where Let's Go Brandon made it into a campaign ad. Oh Jesus, whose whose campaign ad? So, uh, Jim Lehman, a Republican candidate for Senate in Arizona. Hmm. Oh wait, um, he's the. I think he's the guy that um, his own uh, like family, like his own kids, said don't vote for him. Oh really? Yeah, I think that's him. Um, it's got a YouTube link to the ad. Yeah. Um, check. Kaiser, yeah, I call my boyo a mick. Yeah. <clears throat> Cupcake. Don't 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 tease the virgin. Uh um <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I see the the, the let's go Brandon thing. By the way, um. <laughs> the ad sucks. I just put a I just put a link in there if you want it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I just grab I uh, just grabbed it off of uh, just while I was looking. Let's see. It's hilarious to me when let's go Brandon is said and nobody. Like if his name was Brandon, that would that would work better. But you are pissed off about the direction of our country. Let's go. If you're ready to secure the border and stop the invasion, let's go. If you want to keep corrupt politicians from rigging elections, let's go. I'm Jim Layman. Let's take the fight to Joe Biden and show him we the people put America first. The time is now. Let's go, Brandon. Are you with me? I'm Jim Lehman, and I approve this message. Jesus Christ. I will, thank you. Just so many of them, just when you listen to them talk, you're like, they're not getting enough air. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it, he, he just, <laughs> he reminds me of that dude at the, at the cookout, right? Like he just, every, every, like every white person knows that dude. We've got him as an uncle or a boss or a friend of an uncle or some shit like that. Or our dad's got knows him or some sort of shit like that, right? He's, I'm surrounded by these motherfuckers. Yeah. If they're few and far between for you, then you're in a you're in a good place. <laughs> yeah. 
it's it's everybody knows these fuckers. Like that that he's the guy that will like literally start you you just you just mentioned like oh i had to go pick up some um, uh peas at the farmer's market farmer's market this is what are you a fucking commie Wait, like oh for fuck's sake uh let's uh, uh, jason momo is back on the market hmm who do you break up with lisa bonet i don't know who that is Oh, she's so beautiful. She was on she was on um the Cosby show, but she was like Oh shit. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Um and um that's the extent of which I can care. Um <laughs> What are you what are you pulling out of the fucking library with her? I mean I know I'm pretty sure. Uh yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's out of the library. Um, all right. What's a shib holder? Oh, um, it's it's a crypto bro. Oh. Yeah. So feel free to just not take him seriously whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, he's he's like 18, if that. Honestly, we have our suspicions, but you know, you're dealing with like a, a 20 year old crypto bro virgin type. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of boring. Um, he's single. I can finally make my move. Hey Viva. Um, he also doesn't have a high school education. Yeah. Um, fucking, um, all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Close that. Let me move this over here. Where is that one? There we go. Um, fucking wither! I swear to God, you constantly want these. these f- All right. Um, that's the f- forward. All right. I will literally start. <laughs> oh well, then our our mistake. We could only. Um, we could only make a, <clears throat> a judgment call based on what has been presented uh, before us as evidence. And I honestly, you kind of owe an apology to um, your high school teachers. Then um, you might you might want to send some letters or emails around and be like, "Hey, hey, Ms. Johnson, sorry I was such a tool and ignored everything you said in class." Because uh, as I'm finding out now, uh, when I interact online. I am woefully un- uh, underprepared for interacting with people on a day-to-day basis. Uh, Reach out and see if you can do a Billy Madison. Yeah. Yeah, if you could start over at kindergarten again and re-socialize, I'd start there. That's a that's solid idea. <laughs> yeah, Viva, you got a puppy. Try not to let this one end up in the farm up uh, upstate. All right. Um... I will do that. I've got one uh, wither for you. And Roberto, Robert, uh, Roberto Rosati. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, fucking. Do I have anything that I want to talk to you specifically about? Um, no. No. But. Um, what's uh, what's happening mid-country? What are you guys up to? What's the topic du jour in your part of the world? It's a bunch of fucking craziness. It's all, it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's like up again, like the craziness, the paranoia. Everybody's in a fucking weird state of mind. A lot of places went back to like you got to wear masks again. Uh, people aren't responding to it well. Um, lots of people are in really bad shape. It's just, it's fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's Doctor Fauci, who I could give a shit about. He's fucking loser who gives a shit but he called uh one of our representatives a fucking moron on a hot mic moment <laughs> yesterday oh paul no no uh roger marshall oh okay i mean is he a moron yeah he's a giant fucking moron hmm. and everything that you're saying was really stupid because he's like why won't you release your financial records and uh and fauci's like my financial records have been public for 37 years <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you release your financial records? He's like, because I released them 37 years ago and have been ever since. 
<laughs> and he's like, he's like, well, big tech's trying to hide him. And he's like, all you gotta do is ask for. Him. They're like literally. He's like, it's just a fucking. There's a link on the back of his fucking card to his financial yeah. records at this point. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh your net worth is not millions liquid. Do you know what liquid valuation actually? Uh, never mind. Why am I engaging with you? You're a fucking. You're you're like a twenty year old who thinks that like he knows something. Okay, if I sell all, do you understand what? You really don't. You don't understand what words mean. What that liquid means in that statement. Sell them all right now and get those millions of dollars. And like, I, I wasn't joking when like everybody in my family is on the horse paste. Are they really? Yes. And they're all fucked up. Some of them real bad. And they're like, what's going on with you? And I'm like, well, I'm triple vaxxed and I'm constantly exposed and I'm totally fucking cool. <laughs> Never had a symptom. Um, we're we're considering um, <clears throat> building, um, buying a bunch of fucking cheap uh, nebulizers off of like Alibaba, and um, doing nebulized ivermectin. We wanna we yeah. wa we wanna do uh, apple flavored horse paste uh, uh, vapes. And we found, we found out, we looked it up. There's been studies on this, actually, of, um, of vaporized, uh, nebulized um, ivermectin concentrates. Yeah. And we're like, well, it'd be completely illegal to do here, but we could do it in, like, Guatemala or some shit, and these idiots would find their black market to it, right? Um, point, point 0.5 milligrams per kilo uh, is fatal. Like, it just... It'll oh no shit! It'll really? shred your it'll it'll shred your lungs at that dosage level. Um, so, like, yeah, we're we're like literally the recommendation is like point zero one milligrams per kilogram if you're gonna uh, um go this administration route. But we're like, dude, apple f apple flavored ivermectin uh, vapes. There's no way you don't make a million dollars before you get shut down on that. There's no fucking yeah. way. You'd make a million dollars tomorrow. And there's and then you're gonna have a bunch of like, you know, fucking Matt Gates and whoever's gonna be like, How dare you shut him down? How dare you shut Kai down? He's a minister. <laughs> um no, tech support, he really doesn't know what words mean. I'm, I'm telling you, he has no formal education in near anything as far as I can I can tell. Um, he, he legitimately doesn't understand the concept he talks about. So I, I guess play nice kid glove. Yeah. Kid glove. I suppose like, I mean, he's a child, he's a child, like functionally he's a child. Just so just know that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, if I can, uh, Oh, and um, the uh, the Pope was at it again. Um, About having kids? No, this time he stayed on topics that he sh that are more based. Um, technology giants to stop preying on human weakness, people's vulnerability in order to make a profit. Arms manufacturers and dealers to totally cease their activity that foments violence and war, often in the context of geopolitical games that cost millions of lives and displace as many people. Big food corporations to stop imposing monopolistic production and distribution structures that inflate prices and end up withholding bread from the hungry. The large mining, oil, forestry, real estate, and agribusiness companies to stop destroying nature, to stop polluting, to stop intoxicating people and food. Financial groups and international credit institutions to guarantee poor countries the basic needs of their people and to waive those debts so often contracted against the interests of those same people. Big laboratories to liberalize patents and to carry out a gesture of humanity and allow every human a being access to vaccine and medicine. Telecommunications giants to liberalize access to educational materials and educa exchange with teachers via the internet so that poor children can be educated even under quarantine. Right? Like he, he basically just went on a rant against capitalism. Somebody out there is going to give a shit. <laughs> and they're going to do the right thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're going to be like, well, the Pope said it. 
Oh, Jesus. The whole thing about kids is so creepy, but it's like, are you, did you guys check the roster and there's not enough people to prey upon? What the fuck? <sighs> it's it's a weird thing to have like a, a, a based take from a pope because it happens every every you know a couple of popes, every few yeah. popes or so we get some some interesting takes from them. But you're like, you know, it's the Pope, right? Like, it's the head of the Catholic fucking church. I, you know, it's not exactly the most um, progressive organization. Um, but there have been some papal bulls and edicts handed down over the years um, that actually do kind of change society. Um, there, There's, you know, a few priests that take that shit seriously. That this is an this is an edict from the Pope. This is Christ representative on earth, and this is my charge. Um so it happens from time to time. Not as often as it should, but you know, it is what it is. But you know you know what happened is that you know, with that recent meeting Biden had with the Pope, Biden just charmed him and just turned him into a commie. There you go. He, Biden used his charming commie powers. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Jar? Yep, definitely. That's. Um. Wait, what is this? Um. Ah, that looks like an FMB stand. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Is Kroger striking? Kroger's, oh, Kroger in Colorado is striking. 8,400 workers are striking with Kroger's right now in Colorado. Oof. Jesus. And they just spent $20 million to, uh, for their CEO and a billion dollars on a stock buyback. Holy shit. Is that the cause of inflation? Oh, I mean... It's the cause of. Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> it's it's the cause. It's, it's, it's a cause of why they cr they always have no cash in reserve. Um, that's exactly. They spent ten years basically doing like massive corporate buybacks across the board, and then the uh, the last financial crisis hit, and they're like, we have no cash reserves. It's like, what'd you just do with those record profits for the last decade? It's like, oh, we spent them all on stock buybacks. Oh, so you spent them all on currency manipulation schemes. Interesting. Here comes the bailout. <clears throat> uh, did you see Haz's take on uh, what actually uh, uh, exists as socialism? Um, that that uh, did the economy is social here. Uh, Econo I'm sorry, Akano me. Yeah, uh, the Safavid uh, Persia, uh, Persia, Ottoman Empire, Mughal India, Zardom, Muscovy, the Yuan, Yuan and uh, Qing dynasties. But so basically, um, Sultan, uh, 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 Sultanism, uh, monarchy, um, czarism, uh, and dynastical reign are examples of actual socialism. Examples of liberal insanity shitholes, California, Sweden, Catalonia, Biden, America, worker co-ops, and uh, Chaz. Oh, has he two holes? He is, um, he's an interesting fellow. Yeah, we live in a society, therefore socialism, HTH, actually. Yeah, that's what we're calling him, by the way. His name is now HTH, like HGH, but HTH, has he two holes? Uh, Glazy, I don't know why you're here. You already said you were leaving the community. Why are you here, Glazy? Oh, well, in that case, let me help you. Damn, I think I missed something, but I know that's contentious. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No. Cupcake. On stream. Yeah. He got he got whiny and then said he was going to leave the community and then he never left, apparently. So I'm helping him out. I'm just helping him 
you know, sometimes human beings have trouble with, um, you know, with following through on what they say and willpower, right? I understand not everybody has the same um, depth of willpower to draw off of. Um, so I'm, I'm just helping Glazy. Um, he's going to get random timeouts from this point up. Um, so there you go. <clears throat> We've already replaced you with a functionally illiterate crypto, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jara. Um, oh, yeah, I still owe you that. I've still got that with her. Don't worry about it. I'll get you a reading. But, um... Don't care, don't care, don't care. Just looking at some shit here. Uh, cool. All right. Hey. Really? <clears throat> no landlord. Mobile home community finds stability in self-government. Durango, Colorado. Half a dozen folks convened to think about how to buy their Durango, Colorado park from the private landlord. A move Mr. Egan, John Egan, uh, and others deemed a shot in the dark, but now at least they had a precedent for, uh, precedent for what would become an interim board. Um, guidance from a housing nonprofit, majority support from the community, residents succeeded in purchasing the roughly 15-acre property within five months, celebrated with a picnic, and the new Animus View MHP co-op joined some uh, uh, some thousand other resident-owned communities uh, countrywide. Nice. Good on him. Why don't I debate you, Diamond? Come on air. If you wanna if you wanna debate bro scenario, then why don't you put your own skin in the game? What what is the debate about? <laughs> they I always have to ask I almost had a guy yesterday who was like hinting that he wanted to call in and I'm like, what's the debate about? <laughs> I don't he thinks this is an insult. Holy shit. This is this is what we're dealing with. I don't read dictionaries like you. <laughs> you hear that you hear that laugh, Diamond? That was legitimate. That's fucking you're being laughed at. Like you're a joke, man. You're a joke. Holy shit. I know. Imagine self-reporting that way. Holy fuck. Oh my God, you are dumb. There's, there's this lady who um, was being interviewed about the election. And she was saying it was a fraud and everything, you know. And then he's the, the interviewer is like, "Well, well, look at it. I mean, doesn't doesn't? Why do you think that it didn't work?" And she goes, "I don't believe in numbers." I'm 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 recalling the Bill Hicks routine. <laughs> what you reading for? <laughs> I don't believe in numbers. What you reading for? I actually have that as a drop. Oh, you know what? I, I, so like that there was a guy like a few weeks ago who called in and he goes, you know, you know, Booth was a liberal goddamn Hollywood guy. You know, John Wilkes Booth, right? Wait, that happened on your show? No, that happened on your show. Okay. I'm like, wait a second. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, so the people on the wreath were like, you got to do that as a drop. So I ripped it from your show and they play it like all the fucking time. And then, like, I'll be like, I'll be like walking around, and somebody will say something really fucking stupid to me, and then it'll just play in my head. Booth is a liberal. <laughs> Goddamn Hollywood guy. <laughs> Diamond, I'm gonna try and explain this to you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try and get this across to you. Have you ever sat next to a really annoying Christian, like a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon? Have you ever sat next to one of these people? Like, imagine, have you ever been trapped on a bus with one of these people? Or cornered in a store? That's you. 
you're them. You're 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 evangelizing. It is super obnoxious. It, it's it's the it, yeah crypto bros are the exact same thing. Yeah, it, it's do okay. Diamond, what is gaslighting? You ever been gaslighted before? That's you. What is gaslighting, Diamond? And bonus points if you can tell me where the term comes from. Um, yeah, that's crypto bros. They're they're just like fucking Christian evangelists. You got you make a good point because I don't hate crypto. No. In fact, I'm interested in it. I've held crypto, but you know what? I'm not going to talk your fucking ear off about I use, it. I use crypto all the time. But these fucking morons won't shut up about it. It's their Jesus. It's it's absolutely obnoxious. I like my the example I give regularly was like I was at the fucking dispensary and the line was being held up because there was some fucking dude, some crypto bro <laughs> in line, literally just evangelizing. And every time somebody tried to interrupt him, he would literally just fucking steamroll him with fucking more crypto shit. He starts passing out fucking business cards in line and it's literally got to the point where the manager had to come over and tell him to fucking move feet because he would not. And the fuck, poor cashier, she was just trying to do her job, right? Like she's just, try, she's in customer service. She's just working the fucking line and she's like, uh-huh, yeah, sure, fucking whatever. Can you just, could you just put like cash in the tip jar and leave already, you loser? Fucking, I'm not kidding you. It took a manager to tell him to fucking beat feet. So like a weed dispensary? Yes. Was he like fucking stoned as shit? I, I wish he were, but he sounded relatively sober. Was he promoting a particular coin? No, just crypto in general and then his, blo oh, then his blog. So. I've been, I've been inside a dispensary one time. I was in Seattle and I was so fucking thrilled by the entire interaction. Like nobody wanted me to hang out. I didn't have to interact with anybody. Everybody was clean and cool. But this really weird thing happened. Me in some sense were being given a tour of like the gummies and like there was so much stuff going on. And these two guys working behind this fucking, this place had been open for months and months. But these two guys who were on the other side, just like, I just noticed them. They like, they made eye contact and they nodded at each other. And then they left for just a second and they come out with a jigsaw. And they just fucking cut off a corner left of the goddamn counter, like right there. Right. And I'm like, they're stoned as fuck. You just got the job done. I love it. <laughs> We're just going to do this. Uh... They're like, fuck this corner, bro. We got to do this right now. I... I... I've been in one dispensary so far, and they treated it like Fort Knox. It's a special line you'd stand in. There's only one customer allowed at a time. You'll learn it. Jesus Christ. Mine's like an Apple store. <clears throat> I'm not sure. That's kind of like what this was like. They yeah. were so fucking cool. Yeah, it's like an app. Mine's like an Apple store. It literally looks just like an Apple store. Tablets and all. <laughs> not kidding you. Fucking big ass monitors all over the place. Tablets in the hand of every fucking, uh, every like technician or fucking floor assistant or whatever the fuck we're calling them weed tenders bud tenders out of fucking know. but yeah you just you just, the only thing is you had to leave your bags sort of like at the door and then other than that everybody was just so fucking nice yeah You're not like annoying nice um jara jara i'll take them off your hands if you've got three ethereum i'll take them off your hands i'll fucking find a way to get them uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna give my three ETH to some uh, some per, uh, some person just out of spite. I'll take it. Give um, them to me so I can so I can mint my NFTs. <laughs> um. Did you see the thing about the apes guy? No. This is this guy <gasps> who makes. He's made like 8,000 apes and he sold them as NFTs and he's made like millions of dollars. But then I guess he got Sorry, Jara. Accidentally clicked on Jara's. They stole all his apes. And then Twitter was just making fun of him. And because he, he's like, oh, I got hacked and all my apes are gone. And uh, somebody just responded, hey, since you don't own that ape anymore, would you mind not making it your profile picture? Oh, I think I saw that. 
I think I saw that. That yeah, they're like, yeah, you don't you don't even own it in the first place. Um, you don't even like it's the dumbest fucking technology. It's a database of URLs. Yep, friendly yeah, it's, fire. It's it's fucking stupid. <clears throat> you have to um you have to be of pretty low character to 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 grift there. Right, like it's. I honestly, I I don't. Whatever. I just I just want crypto bros to shut the fuck up about it for a minute, right? Like that's that's all I care about. Just shut the fuck up about it for a minute. They. they I was. Good. I I was watching this video. This this really good con. I can't remember. It's like Intelligence Hub or something or Intellect Hub or something. He was talking about NFTs and he was making this argument that like, you know, all of the prices on NFTs are artificially inflated because it's a small group of people just pushing things back and forth. And he was using this example. It's like, you know, you got two friends who have this baseball card and one of them sells it to the other guy for a thousand bucks. And another one comes back and buys it for twelve hundred, you know, and it makes it look like it's much more valuable than just yeah. like random people buying it. <clears throat> And I'm like, you know, I don't know. I haven't really okay, looked okay. at the open sea market, but I look at these things that like sold for a lot of money on NFTs and like only 20 people viewed them. And I'm like, hmm. Glazy. <clears throat> You're welcome to stay. But when you make snide little remarks about how you about how I think my time in this community has come and fucking all of that. Like we're gonna we're gonna fucking pick on you. Um that activity is called painting the tape. Alright. Oh Swede, I wish you were here last night, though I don't. You would have had a headache. Um did we had a dude like last night that oh fucking Swede. Oh man, Swede. You you would have It was bad. Like I said, Glazy, you're welcome, but I had to fucking give you shit and punish you a little bit for fucking, like, you know, I I think it's time for me to leave this community and shit like that, right? Like, either just leave or, like, say something. But, yeah, the weird in-betweens, again, I, I like some of your takes. Oh, sweet, you missed a real winner. Um, uh, I like some of your takes. I find you amusing. Um, but you know, yeah. Do you want to be a shithead? Be a shithead. Uh, that was, the guy was so dumb. Even I could call him out. Yeah, it was, it was bad. The guy last night was pretty fucking, he, he fancied himself an economist, uh, Swede. Um, he said he, I think he said he had a master's in finance or something like that and worked in it. It was, um, Hey weasel. Um, it was interesting. It was interesting. Let's just put it that way. crypto evangelist on bingo uh, I, we did, it doesn't happen that often that i'd see us needing it but i mean i'll add it um let's it see it probably happens enough i mean it happens in my show and nobody comes to my fucking show <laughs> uh i'm just gonna do crypto bro it count it counts for uh for everything there you go it's been saved and <laughs> the farm up north is getting full Masters in finance has three hours of econ. Three hours this week. Well, that explains a few things. Um, he claimed to have an Oxford tiered education in it. That, that was his claim. And I was like, if you have an Oxford tiered education, you have an Oxbridge style education. And no one from Cambridge would ever say they went to Oxford as the reference. And if you went to Oxford, you better goddamn believe you'd be saying you went to Oxford. Um, so it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was special. It was special. Um, so yeah, we were, we were busy playing uh sea of thieves for most of it. Frankly, you did Jara. They were, they were special. Yeah, he, 
he didn't know a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, Just thinking like, thinking like, uh, hey, Glazy, do you want to call in? I'm not going to pick on you, but I do want to talk to you, Glazy. Um, one of my students has turned into a crypto bro, speaking, uh, speaking of crypto. Oh, I'm sorry, Jara. That's, that's a shame. Uh, yes, Swede, that is true. He was queried as to the nature of his schooling and whether he was fresh or salt water. He had no idea what we were talking about. When queried about what school of economics he ascribes to, he tried to dodge the question and get around the, you know, Swiss, Austrian, Chicago, fucking new school, fucking bullshit, right? Um, he tried to sidestep a whole host of stuff. I, I didn't interact with it uh, with him that much. Um, I, I tapped pretty early in the conversation, but a variety of people in, uh, continued having a conversation with him, uh, in chat and cat was on the line, um, while we were doing Sea of Thieves. And so that also was a thing. Um, so, oh, uh, let's see. I want to see something. Uh, Twitch. Oh, God. Um, I guess Pete Davidson might host the Oscars. I I don't understand the attraction to that man. I like him okay, but I, it's over the top for me. <laughs> um, Let's go. Um, I'm going to go take over the Vampire Survivors uh, category. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um. What? Is this a game? It's not a game. Is it? Yeah. Is it like really van? Oh, no, it's a game. Okay. <laughs> um. I just learned that science and technology was a category the other day. And then I was like, no oh, shit. I thought we were, I thought it was like people who were like, we need to talk about our vampire survival experiences. Uh, just log it. Um, I'm applying to transfer to Johns Hopkins. Really sweet. Um, let me slide this. There we go. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna, um, looks like Poe's got a ball sack. God damn it. There we go. Just gonna do a run here. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna, well, there we go. Um, we could go for AOE supremacy or fire supremacy. Let's go fire supremacy. I need to upgrade the wand anyway. So, I mean, this is, it's kind of like a reverse bullet hell where you become the source of all of the, the, uh, the bullets on the screen. Um, it's an auto fire. Um, there's nothing you do except movement. So. Uh, the what? Oh, no, I fucking... Meet I uh me toad. I have six achievements that I haven't done. Like legitimately, I've I have like six. Um I have all of I think I have all of the characters unlocked. I have most of the synthesis done. Um I have Yeah. I have all of the power ups done. Um I have like yeah, it, it's I'm I'm good. I don't even need to set foot. You see the fucking DPS I'm putting out here. Um, I already can. Let's see. There we go. And let's do. Yeah, let's do the Lancet. It'll be an interesting uh, synthesis. 
Oh, wait till you see. The axes are getting thrown up um, and then, then tossed down, and they do massive damage. Uh, but when the axes get leveled up all the way, they become a series of scythes that spin out in a spiral from uh, around you and just absolutely demolish your enemies. Uh, let's see. You need an RTX 3090 to run this? Yes, Swede. Definitely. <clears throat> I'm going to need you to donate that um, that new car to yours, uh, Swede, to the channel. Yeah. Oh, this is good. There we go. There we go. Get a few of those in. Um, I need, yeah, I guess I need Laurel. Uh, oh, uh, do we do the Pirates of the Caribbean storyline and Sea of Thieves? We, oh, we did, I think like three quarters of them. And then we stopped because, uh, one, it's glitchy as fuck. Um, and two, they're boring as hell. The, the Sea of Thieves fucking Pirates of the Caribbean DLC is just miserable. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we did a bunch of them. Um, and then we stopped. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Uh, they reminded us of um, rides at Disney. That's that was the conclusion we came to was they were just reminiscent of Disney rides because we were just on rails like all of the missions just felt like we were on rails. They were just completely pointless. There we go. Uh, trying to level this magic wand. Uh, yeah, Karina, that means you reached the end of the game. Is that your first Reaper? Um, the, the max time you can spend on a level is 30 minutes and three seconds. It's three zero zero three. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's the, that's basically the end of the game. You, you consider that a, 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 a one level you, you successfully, be, uh, be, uh, defeated that level. I haven't fully upgraded a whip either. I'm not a fan of this build. Is it possible? No. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's impossible to kill the Reaper. I was putting out like a couple of hundred thousand DPS um, in, in one of my builds and nothing like the reaper just soaked it i had um i had like the i had so much defense i had like a, a, just a wall of aoe around me and i could just walk through the entire level like legitimately my experience for the end game on that build was just standing there and killing everything that dared try and come near me um it was just an impenetrable uh, impenetrable wall um So, and, and the Reaper just soaked it. So, yeah. I don't think it's possible to kill the Reaper. Yeah. Can you give some tips, basic tips for a beginner? Any items that I should always go for? If you're a beginner, garlic. Garlic, 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 garlic. Power up your garlic as a beginner, and it'll make it a lot easier. You can just sort of plow through. Uh, the laurel plus garlic is basically um, just a high-tier defense system. Um, but if you max out your... Um, 
if you max out your uh, Bible and your axes and your crosses in a single run, you basically are untouchable. Um, because they will spin around you. The axes will start spinning around as sides continuously. Um, the Bibles will start spinning around continuously as well. Uh, and the crosses will just destroy shit. Um, knives fully upgraded as well is just a machine gun out front. It is just penetrating machine gun fire that will just devastate anything that it touches. Um, so there are some beginner tips. Um, yeah. Um, I can, <laughs> I can legit say that this game is six achievements away from being beaten. Uh, as far as I am concerned at this point, I have no other progression to make in this game past the, uh, the six achievements I'm missing at this point. So I, I forget how many tens of thousands of cash I'm sitting on at this point. I have all the power ups unlocked. I think I have all the characters. Uh, including the one they just added because it was nothing to buy. Yeah, if it, if the character was added within the last two days, I already have it. We can check the screen just to be sure, but... Um, axe is up. Oh, also the uh, power-up perk uh, for added projectile on top of the character that I'm playing means you get a default projectile set of three, which is super fucking useful. Um, also, uh, heavies. Um, any of the shielded, this sort of shit that the, the heavies get around to, dude, take the heavies out as fast as you possibly can um, and get yourself the, the upgrades. Um, because the, if you can maximize your upgrade path, uh, using the, the heavies like this, then it's pretty difficult to stop you. Um, it yeah, will take the whip up. I am, there's, there's a few different build types you can definitely go for. I'm usually in the, the DACA camp. Uh, more damage output means less defense needed. If I can kill you before you can get near me, that's a good build for me. Um, he's okay. He's okay, sweet. Everybody takes breaks. Everybody needs time. Um. Uh, I read you need specific item combos to be able to max. Yes. Um, there are we uh, there are things that you need for synthesis. Uh, hey, Bobby. Uh, how was your drive? Um, there are items that you need for your synthesis. Um, and there is, I think six or nine or seven or eight or something like that it's between five and ten um that you need you got to have two things on you to make them maxed proper oh yeah as you can see i'm starting to put out so much dps that a little you just you point the fucking knives at something and you just say go away um there we go take the wand still driving survived the deer obstacle course nice So for the Bible, I think it's Spellbinder, I think. Yeah, I don't know the combos off the top of my head. 
Um, I have them somewhere uh, already, but yeah, I don't have the combos off the top of my head. Bam, bitch. Like I said, always go for the heavies. The, the heavies are like your key. By the way, right click uh, and that speeds that up. You can just sort of skip that screen. Um, and get my way. I want that. There we go. Ooh, goody. We got a good one. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Fuck yeah. Five upgrade. This is what you want. Get your luck all the way up, and you start to see shit like this. I got a whip upgrade, a laurel upgrade, a knife upgrade, an axe upgrade, and a knife upgrade in a single treasure chest. Plus 370 gold, which doesn't matter to me at this point, but... Yeah, see, that's putting in fucking work already. I wish I had uh, some orb distance upgrade, though. Just tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. Uh, no. Um, no, I have not played Sekiro. Not my type of game. Um... Whip up. Yeah, I'm going to need to cut swad through these guys. Um... Take AOE. Yeah, I'm not big into the like Dark Souls camp. That's not my style of gaming to start with. Um, I know Sekiro is a bit of a departure for them, which respect. Um, but it's still the same base mechanic of parry, torture yourself, rinse and repeat. Um I'll take it. Whip up. Uh, there we go. A little bit of a glitch there. He was walking up when I was pressing down. I've noticed uh, I've noticed some um, some movement bugs in the game. That's that's where I've noticed uh, a couple of bugs is movement glitches. Target the heavy, get your reward. take movement yeah I mean I I, I it's not it's just Sekiro is not my style of game that's it I, I have no critiques of the game itself I just don't enjoy that style of play um, that sort of Dark Souls grindy sort of thing if it were not Dark Souls inspired sort of situation and they just had like the Sekiro sort of like world and mechanics and shit like that, I'd be fine. Um, yeah, we'll take Laurel. Yeah, I could see that. The combat mechanics keeping you going, yeah. I 
whittle these down a little bit. Just out. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna fucking bring it all the way back up here. There we go. Ooh, this'll do some work. Look at that. Um, yes, attract orb. Give me that XP easier. Um, duration, uh, you know what? Fuck that. I'll take that. All right. Bam. Yeah, yeah, it's just sort of what I'm noticing as well, Meat Toad. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> here's the site. Uh, here's the axe upgrade. The death spiral. Wait for it. Um. There's the death spiral. That's that's why you get the axe, is because of the death spiral. Base area up, yeah. Ooh, big boy, that'll give me some treasure. Um. I'll take the clock. Lucky one, dude. If you get your luck up a bunch, yeah, it'll it'll put in a bunch of work for you. There we go. <clears throat> Two candelabras, an orb, a wing, and a lancet, dude. Fucking, that'll put in some work. Um, I think I need some hollow heart upgrades too, so I'll start doing that. Um, Lancet. Um, I'll take the movement speed for now. me all your XP. Ooh. Shieldy boy. Shieldy boy will fucking do that. Here we go. Uh, no wither. He moves incredibly fast. Like, zips around the screen at a speed that you cannot possibly compete with. Oh, shit. 
I can absorb HP now with the whip. Here's here's the bloody tear. Um. Yeah, we're, we're putting in some DPS now. It's not my highest DPS build by a long shot, but it's decent. There we go. Um. Oh, yes. All of the sweet, sweet XP. There we go. No, and I can heal it with her. Not just like from items, but like my character can heal it. So there's a couple of like my DPS isn't where I want it to be as far as like uh, or is my like damage style output isn't where it needs to be for a couple of these rounds, a couple of the waves that are coming up. Um, but it's 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 good enough for like right now. But there's going to be some shielded waves coming up that are going to be a little tough for this character. And I don't think I've got the, the correct build going for it. There's, that's a shielded boy right there. There we go. Laurel. <clears throat> Um, yeah, the character's got a passive heal on it right now, as well as the whip uh, will be stealing HP as well. So... I'm getting H HP two ways in addition to the standard one way. And the Laurel is basically just a shield. At this point, I think I've got like three charges in the Laurel. So like if they try and harm me, like it doesn't even impact me. speed I like base speed up this is where it can get sketchy with these bats pushing everybody in on me like that it can get a little sketchy yeah I need to push out there we go speed uh, 
fire speed. Kill the heavy already. Dude, this heavy just will not go down. Come on. How much DPS do I gotta put on you to fucking kill you? There we go. Um, bam. Knives, here we go. Here's the machine gun knives. There's the thousand knives. No delay on the knives. They just continually shoot now. Wherever the character looks, there's just a flurry of fucking knives going now. Look at that damage. This is why it's called a reverse bullet hell, by the way. It's it's not actually... It's it's me producing the bullet hell-like uh, bullet hell -like conditions. No, no, I'm not. Uh, me too. Just... Ducka, 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 ducka. Come on. Come on. There it is. Come on. And health up. I have had okay, so I've had I've had this axe maxed out before on a build. In the same build I had um the peach one maxed out. I had the crosses maxed out. I had the fire maxed out. And it was just a massacre of, like, death around me at all times. I could just walk through anything, basically. And that's sort of my idea of a, an ideal build. Um... Also, the knives have knockback, so you can kind of keep people off your jock if you want. Oh, we're at that point. I don't get upgrades anymore. I've, I've maxed the weapon upgrades. Now I either get money or health. We are, we're entering the home stretch. We've got another six and a half minutes, basically, and then the, game, the, 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 the round ends. The Reaper will come in and just murder me. So we'll see if we can make it or not. A few of these end waves, I don't think I'm prepared for correctly. Um, some of the final waves are pretty armored. And there's a lot, lot, lot of them. Like screen full armored. Um, so I don't think I'm prepared for those. But we'll see how far I can take this character. There we go. Hang on. Damage. DPS upgrade. Which begs the question why he gave me the money. That's that that happened out of order. Cause I don't I don't watch the slots. I just watch my upgrade path. See if we can get some DPS here. Hey, Viscous. What's up, man?
That would explain that, me Toad. That would explain that then. Shitting on company time. Atta boy. You make the you make the angry leftists proud, Viscous. There we go. Nice. 20% DPS up uh, damage and uh, 20% damage upgrade. I'll take it. Oh. We got 20. Okay. So we got four more minutes. Here we go. <clears throat> Here's where it, it basically does this. The big coin bag or floor chicken. I'm going to take the big coin. Neither of these matter to me. I've got full health. I've got uh, all the money in the world. So neither of these technically matter to me at this point. But I should get an achievement for upgrading the whip. Um, I don't think I got the magic wand upgraded. So... chicken floor chicken Just dun, bun, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, here's where it's gonna get it's gonna start to get a little weird here. These last three minutes. Just upgrade after upgrade. Although I'm pretty low leveled. I think my max level on like a run was like eight. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, eight, uh, 89, um, I think was my like character uh, level. Here's where it's gonna get a little sketchy is the, the, the waves of shielded dudes. We'll see if I survive this. I mean, I can by like strategic movement, but Generally, these shield boys are going to fucking do a number on me. Laurel will put in work for me here, though. Oof, look at that fucking damage output. There we go. Laurel took a bunch of hits on that one. There we go. Charge up on Laurel.
No. And... We are heading into the approach on this one. Um, so if you want to see what the Reaper looks like, pay attention because it's about to happen. And there you go. So he burned through three layers of laurel shielding um, and beat like several freezes with me putting damage on him the entire time. So there you go. 30, 24. It's the highest time I've gotten yet. Um, because usually th uh, 30, 03 is usually the max because it takes him about three seconds to kill you. Uh, but I just managed to max that out. Um, here are the achievements. I'm missing a stone mask. I need to evolve the magic wand. I need to do the the library uh, library, and then I need to evolve the cross. Um, here are my power ups. And as you can see, my cash is sixty one, eighty forty, uh, eight forty. So there you go. There's 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 a a master run through of fucking. Um, of vampire survivors. That's what it that's what it looks like when done I suppose correctly. Um I'm gonna move us back over to politics for a second. Oh Six. Oh, what do y'all want to do? <laughs> oh, and I have one, two, three, four, five items left to unlock in the collection. <laughs> can you smell the chud gathering? I can. Oh, fuck me. Oh. And my voice is rough today, whether. <laughs> oh, Cassidy. Um, all right. We could review last night's footage. Swede, you still here? <laughs> um, all right. One day in a penal colony. I'll, I will give you two paragraphs, Wither. Two paragraphs. That's what you get. Uh, the unknown industrial prisoner, um, to what we're reading. If you have a library card, you already have access to this book. Um, lower depths, <clears throat> it was the same every morning. At 10 to 6, Reveille sounded. Mostly a broom handle was applied to the green dented side of a locker. One of 60 to hold the clothes of the men for the four shifts. This time, someone with a sense of humor had taken a length of two-inch plastic hose and used three or four lockers as a gong, producing a deafening, heart-stopping crash. <clears throat> this was a bad thing to do. It split the hose used to get hot water from the taps over the pan basin into the mop bucket. Finances didn't run to another tap or to the employment of cleaners. The echoes died quickly into the concrete. Spread out, roared the, gl uh, roared the glass canoe. His voice was throaty and rich and greedy as if the words had cream. He'd taken his wake-up pill. Stand aside or lose a limb. He was always nasty when it wasn't his turn to go down on night shift. His face smiled when he bashed the lockers with the hose, but that smile was for the glass canoe. 
not the other prisoners. He advanced into the narrow floor space between the rows of lockers with a mop and bucket of hot water. Red-eyed faces puffed and pouchy, hampered and confused by early morning horns. The sleepers were up, desperately scrambling to get hundreds of pieces of scrap rag, their beds, up off the concrete and back into the rag carton before the glass canoe could spill hot water on them, with the legitimate excuse that the cleaning roster had to start on time. He was a large and formidable man with a history of mental illness, his head full of ambitions, his pocket full of pills, his mouth full of other men's words. He had no trouble getting past Dr. Death when he came up for his medical. Dr. Death, who would pronounce a prisoner fit for work if he could stand unaided, breathe, and had well, a detectable pulse, was a paid company man in the best understood sense of the word. He knew what his modest $200 a month was worth and gave service to that amount, making three short visits a week, six hours. Put out your tongue, drop your tweeds, cough. He wasn't paid to look for nervous disabilities, just cripples and dead men. <clears throat> this was shift two at the cracking plant. Monday, Friday morning, the last of seven consecutive horror shift mornings, payday. The normal, visible life at the administration end of the refinery would proceed for the rest of the day and close down at four. Three other shifts would keep the revenue-producing end going. The refinery itself, whose columns rose spire-like into the distance. And shift two would come back at seven morning, Monday morning for another seven days straight. In this place, no day started. Nothing ended or began. Things just went anonymously on. Morning was a start for some, an end for others. It's by David Ireland. He's an Australian author. Uh... And yeah, there you go. Um, it's one of Mitre's favorite books. He met the author. Um, like he got to know him in some capacity. Um, so yeah, there you go with her. There's your reading. Oh. Um, yes, yeah, okay. I just wanted to double check. Uh, it is a story in which a national type, hitherto unrecognized and without a claim, the prisoner bound to have his individual identity, uh, identity suppressed. In the case, uh, in this case, the managers of the oil refinery on the shores of Botany Bay, owned by the giant British European Pure, uh, Pure Oil Company. In each of Ireland's titles, um, each element of Ireland's titles resonates. The workers are unknown except to one another, and they are known through a screen of nicknames, affectionate and abusive. They're deemed dispensable and unimportant, treated as though they are men without qualities, the title of the novel's seventh chapter. The cruel and newest manager referred to as the Wandering Jew muses, now individual man is detached from the earth, from others, even from basic life itself. Worse, the men acquiesce in their own abjectness. The sump sucker knew that though they were tall, bronzed, rugged Australian individualists, more or less, they would end up doing exactly as they're told. They're workers in an urban industrial setting, not rural or agricultural. Thus, their labor is of a kind that seldom has been depicted, let alone anatomized in Australian literature. Finally, they are prisoners. Um... Jesus Christ, I fucking just toggle off that. Uh, finally, they are prisoners, notionally free to come or go or not to work. They are self-imprisoned, whether by domestic demands, by habit, or by fear of freedom. Figuratively, most of them bear the inch-wide residual scars of chains passed on from father to son, from ankle to ankle for half a dozen generations. Their small acts of rebellion neither reform nor overthrow the system in which they toil. So there's a little summary of what the uh, <laughs> what the uh, the unknown industrial prisoner is about. It's a it's a super happy story. Yeah. It's it's like um, it's like wholesome eye bleach bedtime reading along the lines of the jungle. Yeah. So.
Um, quit that. <laughs> Mossberg Bear, thanks for the follow. Um, <laughs> made me think that was Viscos for a second. <laughs> oh, let's see. Were there any headlines that I missed while we're at it? Because we did have the fucking distracting crypto bro earlier. Um... Oh, the G oh, Ohio's GOP got their uh, their gerrymandered uh, gerrymandered maps tossed by the Supreme Court of Ohio. Um, they're they've been given ten days to fix it. Um, we'll see. Italy collected enough signatures to put um, cannabis and uh, psilocybin mushrooms uh, decriminalization slash legalization uh, initiative to a vote. Um, the Italy's Supreme Court of Cassation has announced that proponents seeking to place legalization of marijuana and magic mushroom cultivation to a vote of the people have successfully collected their uh, 600,000 signatures necessary. Um the initiative now gets sent to the Constitutional Court, which has the task of determining if the provisions of the measure make le uh, meet legal muster. Um, and then after the decision is announced on fe February 15th, uh, and if approved, the government will then set a date in which the public will vote. Um, if approved... The date of the vote is required to be set between April 15th and June 15th of this year. The initiative would legalize the personal cultivation of cannabis and substances like psilocybin mushrooms, but it would not legalize uh, possessing them in their dried, smokable form or purchasing them. Who wrote this initiative? I mean, who would be that? That's that's the dumbest fucking. Okay. Does somebody need to talk to the Italians? Like, guys, what's the point of legal cultivation if you're not allowed to have it? Uh, you can grow it, but the instant you process it for storage, it's illegal, right? Like it's perfectly legal to have like a fresh bud. Yeah. Like, but you can't, you can't smoke fresh weed. Cassidy, like that works for shrooms. It doesn't work for weed. You have to cure, you have to dry, uh, cure and dry weed. Like that literally doesn't work for cannabis. It's fine for fucking shrooms. Like I said, you can eat fresh shrooms. Can't store them. You can try. I mean, you don't want to. You don't want to smoke uncured weed. Trust me, you don't. No, it's it's. Yeah, no, it's cannabis and shrooms. Yeah, like that's it. It, it it's not legal possessing them in their dried, smokable, or uh, their dried or smokable form, or purchasing them. Uh, okay. I mean, that's a thing you can do, I guess. Why would you? Hey! Good on him. The West Virginia governor feels extremely unwell. He's got COVID. He had to postpone his state of the state address to the legislature. Um, he's apparently, he's apparently been vaccinated and boosted. Tech support. It's, it's super fucking, it, it's, it's super fucking bare bones.
Um. Yeah, like the, the referendum is poorly worded. Like I'm seeing this over and over. It's poorly worded. The referendum is poorly worded. Huh, weird. Uh, looks like um, the Louisiana Teachers Union is staging a sick out. Do you know this, Bobby Cassidy? Um, East Baton Rouge branch of Louisiana Association of Edu Educators announced a planned sick out Wednesday uh, to protest the school system's response to recent COVID-19. Quote, our staff is experiencing burnout. Our students are not getting the education they need and deserve with all these different stops and starts. Uh, we want our children to be safe and we need this to last until COVID is significantly reduced in the A East Baton Rouge parish. Uh, teachers should only return to work when East Baton Rouge Parish reports a 10% COVID-19 positivity rate. The parish is currently reporting a 28 plus. Um, and it looks like, um, oh God, it's a New York Times article. Fucking hate the New York Times. When was this? Eight hours ago? The Rikers, uh, Rikers Island uh, facility, which is just one of the worst prisons in this country. Um, they are on day five of a hunger strike. They are protesting lack of medical access, access to <laughs> a variety of services. Um, over the past year, more than a dozen inmates died in custody, um, just due to COVID, um, uh, violence has increased backlogs in the court, uh, due to the pandemic, keep people, uh, behind bars for longer. Um, they're not meeting mandatory minimum standards for a human being, according to multiple attorneys, <laughs> staffing shortages, fewer services. Um, they're not even heating the, um, the the units apparently in some instances yep um temperatures plunged below freezing this week complete lack of medical care apparently um Fifty-four hundred people at Rikers are pre-trial detainees yet to be been, been found guilty. Of the sixteen people held in city jails for New York who died last year, fifteen of them were Rikers. Incidents of self-harm doubled. Um, over the over the last year period. <clears throat> the intake area is infested with cockroaches and, and uh, rats. It lacks beds and working toilets. Oh boy. Yeah, we talked about it. 
400 on strike or something like that. 8,000. 8,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we talked about it earlier. Um, the, the, the Colorado Kroger's or, uh, Kroger's workers are on strike. Um, yeah, more than 8,000 King supers. It's all called, it's all just Kroger. At King Supers, workers have sought an increase in wages of at least $6 per hour for all. The company's last best and final offer will be $4.50 based on job classification and tenure. And the amount that the the union is the the amount that the workers are asking for is less than the amount Kroger advertised um, for uh, for replacement workers scabs. So the amount that Kroger was willing to pay scabs was eighteen dollars an hour. They uh, the amount that they rejected was sixteen dollars an hour. They're they're willing to spend more money to break the union. Can't imagine why. Um, uh, my friend used to call it Czar Stupids instead of King Supers. That's fair. Oh yeah, for sure, Kvass. That's 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 a given, dude. If I worked in any sort of major corporate entity, I would assume I'm being spied on all the time. I would also assume they've probably got my phone tapped. Um, I I would I would assume that there's an IMEI relay station, like the um, that there's a stingray in play. I would just assume that. Yeah. Like that's, I, I would not trust any of these entities. They, they, do they spend hundreds of millions of dollars on union breaking practices? Sambas, thanks for the follow. Um, they spend hundreds of millions of dollars on fucking union breaking practices, right? Like they've got no problem fucking violating laws. I mean, for fuck's sake, corporations and fucking, you know, magnets of all sorts used to purchase the services and still do of groups like Pinkertons to go in and assassinate union leadership and, you know, cause actual, like, uh, you know, use a actual agent provocateurs tactics, um, historically and contemporarily. So for them to do something like, you know, implement an IMEI relay station, uh, you know, doesn't surprise me at all if they did it. Um, Yeah, except the, the house is always watching, Bobby. You may not be, but you know the house always is. Hey, girl under 10 is youngest person to die of COVID-19 in Houston, city health officials say. Houston Health Department announced Wednesday confirming that the girl under the age of 10 is now the city's youngest confirmed pediatric COVID-19 death. The child who was black and had underlying health conditions died uh, at a Houston hospital. Uh, privacy laws prevent us from knowing anything beyond that. Um, Yeah, of course they do, Weasel. Wither, it's a lot more difficult than you think it is. Um, goat. Low observable goat. Love the name. Um, fucking thanks for the follow, man. Um, yeah, Weasel. I mean... What's, what's the, the fucking thing with, like, Swedish McDonald's making, like, $25, $26 an hour? 
and their burgers actually cost less than a burger bot in Washington, D.C. Hey, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Virginia Beach used forged documents that linked people's DNA to a crime to get to them to confess or cooperate. Herring's office did not say whether the use of the forged documents would invalidate any confessions that were attained as a result or otherwise affect the cases in which they were employed. He appreciates that the department stopped the practice. Oh, they promised. They promised this time to not do it. I... <clears throat> It is illegal to lie to the police in, in, in the course of their investigation. <clears throat> you know what it isn't illegal to do? Shut the fuck up and ask for an attorney. If you get into an interrogation room, the only, first and only words that should ever be out of your mouth are, I want a lawyer. The next thing that a cop is going to say is, hey, we're just having a conversation here. I can't, you know, I, I just want to help you out. I just, if you, if you lawyer up, there's nothing I can do. He's already violated several fucking issues, uh, uh, crossed several lines by continuing that conversation, but they're going to try. They're going to try. The next thing you say is I want a lawyer. That's it. That's, that's it. That's, that's the beginning, middle and end of it. Shut the fuck up and say, I want a lawyer, and then shut the fuck up again. Just lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. And be sure to be specific. I want an attorney. I want a lawyer. Do not use slang. If you say, I want an attorney, dog, they have successfully argued in court before that they were not sure if the, the individual, if the defendant, uh, if the interrogatee was not sure they were not sure whether he wanted a dog or not. Lawyer. Oh, even then, me too. They're gonna they're gonna browbeat you. Yeah, or a dog with a law degree. Yeah. So be clear. But yeah, it's it's a thing. Never trust them. Never trust them. I mean, I would love an attorney dog. <laughs> Airbud got his degree. Did Airbud go to law school? Is there an Airbud law school movie? Cause that'd be amazing. There is an Airbud the college years. Oh my god. How many Airbud movies are there? They made a lot of money with these. So there's five Airbud movies. 
And then there's Air Buddies films considered spinoffs. So there's five core Air Bud movies. And then there's Air Buddies, Snow Buddies, Space Buddies, Santa Buddies, Spooky Buddies, Treasure Buddies, and Super Buddies. And then the Santa Paws films are prequels to Santa Buddies. So there's 13 Air Bud movies. There's 13 Air Bud movies, technically. Spinoffs, prequels. There's, there's... Here's, here's Super Buddies. Five magical rings from the planet Inspiron. Each one gives them unique superpowers. Butterball gets super strength. Buddha gets mind control. Rosebud gets super speed. B-Dog gets super elasticity. And Mudbud gets invisibility. Together, the buddies must use the rings responsibly with the help of Megasis slash Captain K-9 in order to stop a power-hungry extraterrestrial warlord named Commander Drex who wants to take the rings for his own in full dictatorship of Inspiron. The buddies soon learn that they don't have the uh, superpowers to become. They don't have to have superpowers to become superheroes. There's thirteen fucking Airbud movies. Holy shit! But hey, capitalism drives innovation. Jesus fucking Christ. 13 goddamn Airbud movies. I don't even know what to say to that. Caboose, you know they do. Um. Oh no, there's 14 now, apparently. Um, dude, Caboose. It's one of the top direct to DVD franchises. They've made hundreds of millions of dollars off of it. Yeah. It's it's made a lot of money. Because children, Caboose, because children. To cost to crank one of these out. Costs costs uh, costs a couple mil to make one of them. It costs a couple mil apparently to make one of them, and they crank them out, and they crank one out every couple of years. Um, oh, cost them a couple mil, and they make a few mil, right? Cost you maybe one to two million to make one. Make eight to twelve off of one. And just keep making them. Yeah. Fifteenth just came out while we're talking about it right now. <laughs> and there's the sixteenth. <laughs> Fucking dude. Who knew? Airbud franchise. Super successful. What is processing? Uh, no, it was not a movie night. We just... We were talking about the uh, process of invoking your right to an attorney during a um, criminal investigation by the police. Um, apropos of a conversation about the Virginia Pol uh, Beach Police Department faking, um, for forging state agency DNA, uh, uh, certification documents to coerce confessions. And so we moved into the, you know, invoking your right to an attorney and not speaking to police. And the fact that in fact, a individual once asked for, you know, I want an, I want a lawyer dog. 
and the cops successfully argued in court that they weren't certain whether he was asking for an attorney or a dog, thus providing uh, cover and uh, confusion on their part. Um, and so we, somebody stated that they'd love an attorney dog. And then we, somebody mentioned Airbud, and I said, was there an Airbud lawyer school fucking, was, was there an Airbud goes to law school, uh, episode? Uh, there are college, there is a college days Airbud. Um, and that's how we ended up looking up the franchise and series of Airbud and finding out it is one of the most successful direct to DVD series ever to be created. So there you go. Oh, the pot brothers at law. Shut the fuck up Friday. Oh, fuck you. Not even going to bother. We all know what it is. We all know the pot brothers at law. Shut the fuck up Friday. And what do you do? Shut the fuck up. Those are pretty good cutouts for the fucking uh, laser engraving. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm seeing. Okay, that's that's pretty good resolution there, uh, Cassidy. That was, that was actually kind of, it's kind of mid, uh, that was sort of Minnesotan. That's, that's a pretty good resolution there you got going. Um, yeah, all right. Attorney dog, present, technically a lawyer and not going to hold the police accountable. Yeah. Uh, what is this? What's Mon's, uh, what's narrator posting? Oh, lovely. Jesus fucking Christ. Here's the list of books now banned from classroom libraries at Leander ISD, a suburban district outside Austin. Uh, this is a school district. Um, the physical purge began Monday. The following books will not be accessible for use in high school student choice book clubs or classroom, classroom libraries. Between October 29th and December 17th, district administrators will partner with our high school campuses to ensure these instructional materials are not accessible to high school book clubs and classroom libraries. District, uh, district curriculum documents will be updated December to January. So... Let's see what the Texas, let's see what Texas conservative at Christian nut job evangelists um, have, have struck and burned. Brave Face, a memoir by Sean David Hutchinson. All right, let's, let's go through some of these by um, uh, one by one. Um, Simon and Schuster. Brave Face, How I Survived Growing Up, Coming Out, and Depression. Can't imagine why they uh, they want that one gone. Okay. Handmaid's, Handmaid's Tale, uh, Atwood. We know what that one is. Um, In the Dream House, a memoir. Yeah, fucking no. I mean, yes, but no. Oh, look at that. Um, book awarded the 2021 Folio Prize and the 2020 Lambda Literary Award for LGBTQ nonfiction. A memoir by Car uh, Carmen Maria Machado. Um, Machado's girlfriend moves in shortly after they meet. Uh, uh, and it's a tale of domestic abuse between partners. None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. Uh, what's it about? Um, Groundbreaking story about a teenage girl who discovers she was born intersex and what happens when her secret is revealed to the entire school. I think I'm noticing a pattern already, kids. The Nowhere Girls by Amy Lynn Reed. Uh, 
An absolutely breath- breathless read, Nowhere Girl is a courageous, heartbreaking, and beautifully written story of a girl doing everything in her power to protect the ones she loves. Um, by the age of nine, I will have lived in more than a dozen countries on five continents under six assumed identities. I know how a document is forged, how to withstand an interrogation, and most important, how to disappear. Refu- refugees. It tells the tale of refugees born to a family on the run. Okay. Out of Darkness by Ashley Hope Perez. Specifically, a book about East Texas. Ashley Hope Perez takes the facts of the 1937 uh, New London School Explosion, the worst school disaster in American history, as a backdrop for a riveting novel about segregation, love, family, and the forces that destroy people. Oh, did I see a mention of human sexuality there, too? Forbidden love in times of relenting, uh, unrelenting racism. Racial and sexual violence as well. Red at the bone. Let's see at the bone book. Uh, Let's see. Moving forward and backward in time. Powerful novel, role of history and community, 16-year-old Melody's coming-of-age ceremony, grandparents Brooklyn uh, Brownstone. Okay, there it is. Um, As it explores sexual desire, identity, ambition, gentrification, education, class, and status, and the life-altering facts of parenthood. Red at the Bone most strikingly looks at the ways in which young people must so often make lasting decisions about their lives, even before they've begun to figure out who and what they are, uh, what they want to be. Um. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it like the lottery like 1948 or some shit like that? Yeah, it is. It's 1948. Um, like that, that book is not new. Um, it's a short story too, right? It's fucking public domain. Wait a second. Yeah, they're banning the lottery. Like it's, they're banning a public domain fucking 1948 book about like, I mean... It's a sundown town. Segregation. Um, all right. So what else we got? Shout. I know that one. V is for Vendetta by Alan Moore. Got the axe. Holy shit. Survivor of sexual assault. Yep. So shout is about uh, sur- survivor uh, survivors of sexual assault speaking up. Um. Book one got banned, but not like books two or three or four, I think. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, I mean, about three quarters of them seem to be 
sexuality related. Um, and the rest are basically like race. That's that seems to be the the brunt of it. About three quarters are ew queers, and then one quarter of it is don't tell the kids. Uh, Pappy and uh, Mama are racist, right? Like that. That seems to be what that list is. I, I'm still not sure why the lottery got on there. I, I'm not either. I mean, it is about a violent purging and like a weird, like dystopic fucking kind of iteration of society. But I mean, are the Hunger Games still in those libraries? Right? Like if the Hunger Games are in there and the lottery has been pulled, I don't understand. That's, that's, yeah, I got nothing. I don't, I don't know why they, they, they hit the lottery. That's a weird one. That one stands out in the list. We know why. Oh, and uh, fucking V for Vendetta. Right? Like, and don't, don't, don't teach them that kind of shit. Oh, please. It's not because of the violence. <laughs> we know they're okay with the violence. Maybe it's the stone throwing is too close to like a religious allegory. I don't know. I got nothing. I don't know why. They, I don't, I have no idea. How in the fuck? Either way, um, hey, the Republicans are burning books again. It's always a good sign. It's always a good sign when the conservative forces in your society start basically book burnings. Yeah, it's always it's always great when they start purging the libraries. Oh, fucking hell, we're so screwed. Yeah, exit that. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> complete lack of surprise. I know, right? Oh, Jesus. It's, um... Can't wait for uh, American conservatives to embrace Ariosophy. Uh, um, that's the. Um, oh God! Isn't that the? Uh, that's the fucking Austrian um, Aryan worship, right? Tankies were on a book burning kick on Twitter a while back. Mein Kampf was on the list, and people were getting sworn for saying they wouldn't burn it. I wouldn't burn it. I don't burn books. I refuse to throw my hat in with uh, book burners. That's just... If you're burning books, you're a shit person. Yeah. I, I honestly... Um, I have the worst opinion of people who burn books. Yeah. Honestly, if somebody gave you a little nudge when you were standing over that pile of burning books, I wouldn't... It wouldn't bother me. Wouldn't bother me in the least. Um, I I don't have a problem with metting out some justice for book burnings. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I just would have fucking... Are we ever going to learn? Yeah, we're never going to learn. Not in my lifetime, at least. Just get over it, Kai. Oh, well, fuck that. That's what That's what's happening. Oh, we're going to raid over to Buddhist. It's, come on, at least, at least, at least get it up to 42. Come on. Book burning is very traditional. Yeah, well, fuck traditionalists. Um, fuck tradition. Tradition is dead people's baggage. Put it down. Grow a pair of your own. Um, especially fuck tradition that dates back to the Qin dynasty. Jesus Christ. Um, and do I have... Here it is. Fuck the Chinese government there! Yeah. Just, just, just for the record. Just for the record. Um... I love watching people ditch uh, as soon as you set up the raid. Seven. Seven immediately. All right. Um, yeah, I might be on voice call. See, if you want to hang out, let me know. Um, but I need to get a long bike ride in um, tonight. That's that's the passive recovery, the active recovery for me. So we're going to ride over to Buddhist, but I'm going to ditch out to voice chat probably, and y'all can... Do what you want to do with the rest of your evening. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for saying hi. Take care of yourself.